Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. It's a little bit late in the day at the park, so it's a little overcast and not sunny today, but um, what I wanted to do with the X4 Pro is kind of do a parachute deployment test. And um, I know it'll deploy at about 90 degrees, and that's basically the only way you can deploy it unless you hold down this button to uh, manually deploy it. There's no switch or anything. So um, just wanted to see if I could just fly it as crazy as possible and possibly hit this like a 90 degree or close to it just by accident and see if I can get this parachute to deploy. Uh, this parachute seems like it's gonna be more for like if a motor goes out or a propeller breaks or there's some kind of anomaly in the flight controller that makes it crash. But I really don't think it's gonna deploy I have not tested this yet, so I don't think it's going to deploy though, um, because I don't think it's going to hit this like 85 to 90 degree um, requirement for the accelerometer in here to be able to deploy the parachute. But anyway, the way you do this thing is um, you've got to hold down the switch for eight seconds to turn this thing on. And when you do, when it does go on, this servo releases the mechanism. So you got to hold this in. and push this for eight seconds. Five, six, seven, eight. And you can see how the servo went off. So I'm still holding here and the light turned blue, blinking. Now I'm gonna hold it for three seconds. Two, three. And it closed, basically closed the parachute. Now this is armed now, so don't tilt it at 90 degrees or else it will go ahead and shoot out. So. As far as the mounting goes, really easy. All you're doing is mounting with the, these arrows are facing up, and you're just doing these thumb screws and mounting it all just how it looks like this with the box portion in the back. Then you want to make sure this pin is facing out the back like this. So now what I'm going to do is take out the pin, and so now the parachute is ready for deployment if it does hit that 90 degree. So let's go ahead and try to do a super radical flight and see if possibly this thing might deploy. I remember now with this Hubson X4, you have to do a compass cal each time you turn it on. So I'm not gonna be able to do that if the parachute's armed. So I'm gonna go ahead and disarm the parachute. And that's done by holding it another eight seconds. There we go. So now the parachute, the light's not on anymore, so the parachute should be disarmed and it won't pop out if we go 90 degrees. Okay, so first compass calibration, you just do this. Okay, until we see the compass two on there. And then we're putting it face down and see the parachute would have popped out. So we had to turn that off. So be sure to, before you arm your parachute, Go ahead and do this, compass cal. There we go, so we got solid lights on the front and back. So now we can put it back down. And now it's ready to fly. So now we're gonna go ahead and turn off the headless, everything's off, and arm the parachute. Again, we have to hold the bottom so it doesn't pop out as we hold down the button for eight seconds. Okay, and then it's basically in deployment right now, so we have to push it in for another three to arm it. There we go. Okay, so it's ready to go. So if this does tilt 90 degrees, it will deploy. All right, cool, so we got six satellites on the GPS, and let's just fly it as crazy as possible to see if we can deploy this thing. Okay, so I'm in GPS hold. Now this is a bit of weight for this quad because I've got the 3D gimbal on it. I have the mini 3D gimbal on this thing right now. And to get to get up to cam uh, camera and the parachute. So I think I'm pushing the weight capabilities with a 3D gimbal and the parachute. Um, again, this quad and the gimbal and the camera and everything I'll have down in the description. The link's down there in case you're interested. But uh, let's go ahead and just see if we can get this thing to deploy. So we're gonna wanna go up a ways. They say about 15 meters. 
you want to be up. So that's like uh, 45 feet. So I'm going to get right about here and just try to shake it as hard as possible in uh, non-GPS. So just an altitude hold. So let's see if we can get some kind of deployment here. There we go. So you can see that. Awesome. There we go. So I was able to really um, jerk it around enough in headless mode to get it to deploy. So it did deploy and the propellers <laughs> kept going because um, you could see that it, w it was not, the propellers were not stopping. So at least something like that happens, you know, a motor fails or something, you know that once it hits that 90 degree uh, pitch that it will deploy. So definitely a good thing to have for maybe a beginner flyer or if you're really worried about um, flying out over stuff so that you wouldn't really damage the craft. So I don't think anything really really that bad happened here. Just the gimbal. The gimbal rubber came off. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this thing down as soon as possible here. The most something, uh, the most that's gonna happen when you do this is uh, you might have like a broken prop and some damage maybe to your gimbal or something. Interesting to watch. You can see that it deployed and then the propellers were spinning and pushing the air into the parachute. And the parachute was um, kind of upside down while the air was pushing into it. So I'm not sure how that would really function if a motor failed. I guess the, I guess the quad would know maybe a motor failed and it would stop all the motors. Or if you are flying FPV and you see something crazy like that happen, uh, definitely you'd have to quickly disarm the motors, either both sticks in and down or out and down so that the motors did shut off and it wasn't actually pushing air into the parachute. So definitely a good test. Um, I'm pretty confident that nothing here broke. It looks like we have a, had a few rubbers, gimbal rubbers fall out and just some disconnections here. But it looked like it did hit kind of on one of these arms and really no damage. Since we're in the grass, no damage whatsoever. Cool guys, so I hope that um, that little parachute deployment test was helpful for you. And I will have the video up on the screen of what it looked like in the camera when that deployment happened. So you can take a look at that and also it'll give you an idea of how the Get Up Get To camera is in uh, low light. So it'll give you an idea of how this camera does. Okay so while we're at it, while we're here, let's just go ahead and I'm just going to show you guys how to do a quick little parachute reload. So you got to have this reload tool here that comes with the base model, parachute model here. And what you want to do is, this is the locking pin hole. You want to make sure that uh, these two indentations here are the locking pin hole is going in between them, facing in between them like this, so that when you do slide the um, locking pin Allen wrench in there, it um, is free of hitting these things because you're going to have to kind of do it all at once. So we get our locking pin, pin here and we want to make sure we're not putting it in this way. We're going to want to make sure we're putting it in this way so that the um, the 90 degree bend here is going through the back of the craft, towards the back of the craft. And all you do is you take the tool and you just push this thing all the way down and then you go ahead and push the pin right over the top. And you can usually, sometimes you can like look through and see some light coming in and you can see the hole on the other side there. And then you just basically let go and you can kind of see how that thing is set up there. Where you have the locking pin that's holding the spring-loaded portion down like that. 
Then all you do is you take your parachute and you just kind of make sure it's untwisted and stuff. Kind of like that. Grab the top end of it, the very top middle, and then you just fold it once twice. So you're folding it like in three. And then just kind of push down on this little slide, this little cap that the strings are attached to, the cords are attached to, and just slowly feed this in. You don't want to like twist them or anything, you just want to kind of push them in. That way it'll have the fastest deployment. If they're twisted, it'll unravel and you won't have a uh, fast deployment. So then you just take the parachute, push it in on top of the strings, like so, just like that. Close the door, make sure everything is, for the most part, in there. Close the door like that, flip it over. Okay, and make sure you're holding the door shut. And you want this, you want to make sure that this lever is going to lock it in place. So then you just hold it for eight seconds, this button here. And then the blue will blink, and then you let go. And there we go. So you can see that the servo latch, the door closed, and we have the pin in so it won't automatically deploy, the parachute won't automatically deploy, and then we just hold this button back in for another eight seconds to turn it off. So when it does this like fast red flash, that's when it's okay to let go of the button and your parachute is reloaded and everything's off. So anyway guys, I hope that was a good demonstration of the X4 Pro parachute deployment, an in-air test. So again, this one in altitude only with GPS off, this one will hit practically 90 degree angles if you really jerk it around. So remember that if you do um, have the parachute on there, armed and stuff, if you are in altitude hold, uh, definitely will deploy if you're doing some erratic flying. So if you do have the parachute on, I'd recommend only flying like in GPS mode. The GPS mode is much slower and it will not reach that close to 90 degree angle. So anyway guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.